Hello, my friends. Thanks for being here. Did you know that Hard Candy, Hard Candy Makeup at Walmart, has put out a Girl Scout Cookie Limited Edition collection. Yes, when I saw this was a thing, I saw it on Walmart's website, I placed an order for as many things as I could come up with that were available. It looks so cute. I feel like it centers around three key types of Girl Scout cookies. The Thin Mints, the Tree Foils, and the Samoas, or the they're calling them now, they've labeled that kind as Coconut Caramel. That's like my favorite kind of cookie. Those are just decadent, love them. The collection looks really cute. Hard Candy is one of my favorite drugstore makeup brands. Um, I've got my face partially done, as you can probably tell, with some base products so we can jump into the new stuff. Guys, we're talking a little palette here. Look at my palette. We've got the lip oils. I got all three of those. They did these velvety smooth lip colors. I got a couple of those. I think they're jumbo pencils. We've got a highlighter, another lip color, and a Girl Scout cookie batter brown mascara. I could not wait to get up here and play with this stuff this morning. I will let you know what's on my face. In the spirit of hard candy, I tried to stick with that stuff. I use my glowy primer, one that looks like this called the Glow Serum Primer. It's actually extremely glowy. Not so much of that shows through when you put the full coverage Glamouflage foundation on top. I have that in the shade Natural. It's just a hint deep for me today, but then I swooped in with the Ultra Light Concealer in the shade Fair, the Glamouflage Concealer. Somehow that kind of evened all things out on my skin. I set with my Maybelline Fit Me. I use my Instant Summer Bronzer, and then my blush is the uh, Face Off blush. In my brows, it's my e.l.f. Instant Lift Waterproof in Neutral Brown, and then I also put on some, whoops, Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It's all sitting in my lap. There is also a primer that comes with this collection, but it was not available at my store, but it said something about being cooling and minty. I really wanted to try that, and looking at the picture, I can see that there might be some nail stickers, perhaps a set of fake nails. It looks like they've got a makeup headband and even some little powder puffs too. But with the stuff I have here, we would need to start with the highlighter, I think. So this is the Girl Scout Cookie Icing Luminous Highlighter in the Trefoils collection. Am I saying that right? Is it Trefoils or Trefoils? I've never been a Girl Scout, but I feel like I might have liked it and maybe my girls would enjoy it too. It's looking like the same packaging as the Face Off Liquid Blushes, which I love, and they were missing a highlighter in this range. I'm trying to smell it. Does it smell a little bit sweet? I'm having some sinus issues, so I may not have the most accurate take on the smells of things, but I feel like I'm getting a lightly sweet scent here. Whoa, that looks like it's gonna be really bright. This is that little brush from the Real Techniques video. Okay, I wouldn't let this stuff sit too long, but oh, so brightening. Look at that. That's a serious highlighter, y'all. Making sure it's not breaking down anything underneath. I don't think it is, but wow. A little bit more over here. <laughs> so shiny. I'd watch what you're getting that close to if you're of a certain age and you got some lines and stuff. <laughs> May just illuminate certain problem areas, but I find this to be a really good zone to pop a little highlighter. And then if there's any extra on my brush, maybe I'll let it come up here. This stuff could get really glowy. I'm so glad they have something that's in this format because their face-off formula is great. It's long wearing, it's easy to work with, it's easy to blend. They had bronzers, they had blushes, and this was definitely like a missing piece. So if you've been looking for a highlighter in that formula, and I love, again, the packaging design, this is like a squeezy tube, but you've got all the control and ease and manageability and neatness of a doe foot applicator. So thumbs up for that. Then we're gonna get into our palette here, which is very exciting to me. There were three different options. I feel like they're all kind of rooted in a brown look, but with some different pops, so to speak. I think the Trefoils one had like maybe some bluish stuff going on. There were a couple of green pops in the Thin Mints, but I opted for the Caramel Queen shadow palette. And oh my gosh, it's sealed on all sides. This was around $10 and it's a bigger palette than I thought it was gonna be. Again, I did this as a delivery order during dance last night because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is there. And seeing as it's limited edition, I didn't wanna wait too long. So yes, I went with this pop of purple one, the Caramel Queen shadow palette. You open it up. Um, this window is not totally solid. Keep that in mind. So don't get too rough with this one. It says up here, and she can. And then here's the shades. We've got one kind of glittery shade. Um, again, a lot of browns. I feel like there's some browns in all these palettes. A big highlighter color in the middle. Lightly, maybe coconut scent? 
just a little bit. So yeah, let's dive in, let's create a look. I'm gonna start with some of this matte brown right up here. Let's pick some of that up and get it going in the crease. And we of course have to start talking in the comments section about your favorite kind of Girl Scout cookie. Like I said, I love the, uh, I guess they're calling them caramel coconut, but I wouldn't honestly turn down any kind of Girl Scout cookie. I also enjoy the Thin Mints, Bub's favorite is definitely the Tagalongs, and those are delicious. Those are the ones that have like the peanut butter cream. Um, this is going on really well. Throughout about the last year, I feel like Hard Candy has improved their eyeshadow formula. Um, I've enjoyed some little quads that I've picked up, and as well as larger palettes too. Um, I think I might clean off my brush a bit and like highlight with this shade. This has a little shimmer. I guess I haven't talked about the matte and shimmer balance in this. This is giving a little glow right up here. It appears there is a lot of shimmer in this palette. This one's totally matte and this one's totally matte. This is like a got a little shimmer in it actually and so does everything else. And this shade up here that looks really sparkly, it does seem like a glitter um, and when I swatch it not much is coming off. Like it's coming off in a very sort of small and patchy amount. I'm not sure if I want to work with that today or not. I feel like it would really need some kind of a base to let it adhere because it's just so minimally coming off on my finger. Like I'd need to really lay down something sticky. I want to add some of this purple, this dark purple right up here. It has, it looks like a slight satiny finish. I want to put that down on my lid. Hi kitten. This is a little bit of a murky, plummy shade. You shouldn't expect to see a real loud purple out of it. It's seeming kind of soft. I want to see that blend into the crease a little bit more too. I've also got this one down here. Ooh, that one's got a little more pizzazz to it. Maybe more of that on the lid. For now, I'm going to take some of this, the same shade I patted out on my outer lid and I just want to see more of it come up. There's really not hardly any shimmer showing out of this shade, so all in all it seems to be performing like a matte. Okay, see just blending that up a little bit. It might be nice to take one of these sort of bronzy shimmers and maybe blend that on the outside of the crease as well. I'm thinking this one right here. It's got a little warmth to it. Yeah, that's pretty. Just kind of bordering my plum. Yes. Again, when you take a shimmer and you apply it with a blending brush, you get a less intensely like packed on looking shimmer. Now I want to take with my flat brush this shade right down here, which as I said, I mean, it looks kind of deep. It looks almost exactly like that shade, just to glance at the palette, but actually it has some shimmer and some more intensely purple color. So I'm gonna take that across the rest of my lid and hopefully you can see some of that color showing. See how it just brings in a little more lively purple color, whereas the other shade was more of a plum. And I understand the appeal of like, if you're into Girl Scouts and you want to get that Girl Scout palette, like I get it, they did a really cute job and you're kind of like getting it for a reason. But if you are into purples, I feel like they give you a few more options and like just a little more purpley color variety in a palette that they already make. It's the Hard Candy Marquee palette called Future Visions and it gives you several glitters that actually apply pretty well um, and then you can see you've got plums, you've got pinky purples, bluish purples, like I've used this because our um, cheerleading squad's colors are purple and black and so like whenever there's a competition I do my eyeshadow kind of purpley and I've often picked that thing up just to get a look going. Okay, I like this shade a lot, but I guess my point is just if you're really into purple and you're into hard candy, you could get this palette and have, I think, a little more range, whereas here we've essentially got two purples and a glitter that's seeming like it would struggle a little bit, but maybe I'll need to try to find a place for that in this look. 
we do have practice today, so my squads are going to be like, you're ready for competition. However, maybe you're looking at this and saying, this is too much purple, and I want mostly neutrals, and I want mostly bronzes, and just maybe a couple of plums. And if that's the case, then maybe this is what you want. Um, I feel like the textures of the shadows have been very good so far. We also do have a dark matte brown here that I haven't quite worked with. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that in my outer corner, just for a little added contrast. Just right in the corner and lifting up. And then these shades we didn't use, we've got a really bright light color here. We've got like a soft champagne as well. This shade is a little bit coppery. Ooh, that's cute. The shade in the middle, like a very soft gold. I don't really want to mess up the look, but I'm thinking of dabbing just a bit of some glitter glue, just like a small amount if that's possible, on top of the lid and seeing if we can stick some of this purple glitter to it. Okay, smoothing it between two fingers, just lightly going over the lid. I know you can't probably even see it. And then taking this shade. It's tough because so little glitter. Okay, there, I'm getting a little bit more. There we go. You just have to dig in a bit more. I wasn't being quite aggressive enough, apparently, but now we have a purple glittery lid. <laughs> I'm kind of focusing it in the middle. Just like swirl your finger in it. Get about that much. Question is, is this going to actually hang on my lid well today? I know I have a little primer on, but I'm not so sure. I'm using like some other fingers that didn't have the glitter glue or the um, glitter on them just to move it around a little bit, but it seems like it's on there. On the lower lash line, I think I'll take some of the plum eyeshadow with my little brush here. Also, if you have your cold brew stick, that bronzy color would maybe be fun in with this, but I'm just kind of keeping with the purple and just a little bit of the plum on the lower lash line. Profusion small pointed brush. It's tough because I do want it to be like darker on the outside, like kind of use those shades to come up here, but creating a stopping point for the glitter is a little bit tricky. Yeah, I think I've done all I can do. Do I have fallout? Yes, I do have a little glittery fallout. Just use at your own risk, okay? <laughs> I thought the overall powder texture in here performed fine. If you're craving that bronze look with a little purple thrown in, you're a huge Girl Scout cookie lover, maybe go for it. Otherwise, like I said, if you're looking for something that involves a lot more purple and you want to try it from this brand, Hard Candy has that other option. Okay, we got all these lip things, but we do have a mascara to try. It's the Indulgent Volumizing Mascara in Dark Chocolate. It says Girl Scout Cookie Batter. They say it's a creamy volumizing form. Formula. Oh, the packaging is cute. How fun is that? We've got an hourglass shaped brush, kind of reminding you of what Too Faced started with that, but it's rubber bristles. Not getting any scent off of it. I'm going to curl the lashes and we'll see what this can do. I haven't really gotten into the brown mascaras. I know it's been kind of a trend. Maybe it's just like the darkness of my hair and everything. I feel like you know, black is the way to go for me, but maybe we'll like this, we'll see. And it's definitely looking brown in person. It might look kind of dark just as you see it here on camera, but as I look at it, it's a definite brown. Does Hard Candy actually make a, a regular mascara brush that looks like this? Because I'm liking the way it's going on. Can you see that? It seems like it's practically causing my lashes to curl more as I put it on, which is a little bit crazy. I can definitely tell they're not as dark as they would be with a black mascara, but still one eye to the other, you can tell that it's done something, right? I really hope you guys enjoy the fact that I was sitting here putting on glitter on my eyes in the five o'clock hour, a.m. hour. And one of these weekends coming up soon, we're springing forward. I know I've talked about I got some beef with spring due to the severe weather, but I also don't like springing forward. <laughs> I like the extra daylight angle. I just don't like losing sleep. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell what 
this mascara has done for me so far, but I feel like it's done kind of an average job. Looking up close at my lashes, like in the mirror, I can certainly tell that it's brown and not black. So if you're wondering, is that gonna be visible and you're really wanting it to look brown, it does look brown. Sorry, more fallout noticed. More fallout discovered. I do feel like it's doing good about holding the curl. It is a very creamy formula. You can tell by the tip when you take it out, like you can see all that creaminess, but all in all, the brush gets really cleaned off with the exception of the tip there. Still, as you put it on, it, it takes a while to dry. I would say cute concept, really cute execution on the packaging, but I'm not in love with that. Now we've got some lip colors to play with. They package these so cute. Look how there's like a little cookie on each one of them. These are their Gloss Topias, um, the lip repair oil. They call these Girl Scout Sweet Hydration. So there's one in each of the cookies. Let's try the Caramel Coconut here first. I mean, what they do with the packaging, and this is what the packaging looks like regularly too. It's just got like silver here, but they went all metallic with the cap and that is so cute. We've got this big, like kind of turned back Buckfoot applicator, really big applicator. Oh yeah. Picking up on the coconut smell and the fact that there's some chocolatey sweetness too. So we'll just put this on. We're not expecting color out of this, okay? We're just getting the shine. And this could be a shine that you choose to like top things off with or use it with kind of a treatment idea. I like it. I feel like that would be softening on some of my dryness. To me, it feels more toward a treatment than a sticky gloss. Definitely does not feel sticky at all. Now I wanna put on one of the regular ones and just see for a second, are these stickier? No, they're pretty similar. Okay, these just have more of a tendency of showing at least a little bit of color, and I think these are gonna be basically clear. With the Girl Scout stuff, it's gonna be more about the scent, the look, the look of the packaging, I should say. Here's the Trefoils one. That's got the blue look. Very cute again, I love it. Okay, you're getting that butter cookie scent. I would say that's very accurate. And then, you know, it looks like it's gonna be blue, but it's gonna come off on the lips looking clear. We're just gonna apply it and confirm, but yeah. Clear gloss, again, could be used alone, used as a treatment, used on top of something, but the feeling is not super thick. I wouldn't say it's greasy, but it's definitely not sticky. And then how well did they do the scent of the Thin Mint? I'm very familiar with the Thin Mint cookie, so I, I will know. Green, so cute. I just can't get over these like little metallic tops. They're so adorable. Okay. I'm getting sweetness, but I'm not getting a ton of mintiness. Interesting. They could have gone much harder with the mint, I feel. There are some products that really smell like thin mints, actually, that are out there. Sweetness. Not a lot of mint. Okay. Again, three for three on clear gloss. And if you're wondering what the actual tube looks like, it just says Girl Scouts right here and then hard candy. 10 out of 10 on cuteness points. And honestly, I think the one that smelled the best might've been this one. Like this one made me feel most like, wow, that is that cookie. This sweetness, coconutty, little bit chocolatey. I can get on board with that. This one, they could have gone harder with the mint. Next up, we got these and I chose two of the colors and there was also a darker brown as well. Um, these are the Velvety Smooth Lip Colors. So I got the Coconut Caramel and the Tree Foils. So this was like the medium and the light shade was the way they were identified on Walmart's website. Oh my gosh, they've got the little logo all over the tube. That's fun, cute and fun, okay. And we've got this jumbo stick which this is not something that we've really seen from Hard Candy's line, I don't think, have we? Jumbo stick for lips type of vibe because I know we've seen it for eyes. Mm. And it's seeming totally creamy. I'm used to seeing a matte finish off of these like from the Superstay Matte Ink crayons, but we're getting a creamy shine there. That's the Trefoils one and that's supposedly the lightest one in the range. I think they did a good job sort of rooting everything in browns, like making you think cookie, brown. You've got the pops that the Girl Scout cookie branding is known for with purple and green and all that. But the fact that the eyeshadow palette kind of brings it back to brown, all of them do, I think that's kind of neat. Now let's get out our coconut caramel. Again, with that adorable packaging all the way around the stick and twist it up. I do have my lips totally wiped off here. And yeah, it's a cream cream formula, like lipstick, in a skinny tube. 
I really like both of those lip colors. I like what the shades turned out to be. I actually kind of like the way it looks alongside the eye look. I wish they would create stuff like this as part of their regular line because those feel really incredible, kind of luxurious, rich. Again, I like the thought of a lipstick that's cream, but in this type of format, that's nice. I think I could use a little more blush today. And you know what I think would be pretty with this is the uh, Wet n Wild Naked Brown. I think this could be perfection with this look. They should have put out some blushes. A little bit of this just like right in here, don't you think? Meshes with the lip perfectly and also the bronziness I've got coming out of the eye look. Here's my takeaway, you guys. My favorite things that I tried. I really enjoyed the highlighter in this format. This is just like the face-off stuff. So it's very pigmented. It's easy to work with. I love the packaging. They needed a highlighter in that range. And I hope once this collection goes bye-bye that they continue to, um, I don't know, keep something that's just like this in their range because this shade is very brightening. I think it'd be brightening on any skin tone. So I really like that. And I love these creamy, like jumbo sticks. Those are both really beautiful, very wearable shades. Then I would say the eyeshadow palette. Um, I think this is really cute, and I think if you're into Girl Scouts in particular, like this may be something you want to have. I thought all the shades applied well, with the exception of the glitter. I think that's just going to be hard for people, okay? First off, you got to know, like, if you do not have a tacky, and not just a regular primer, but an actual really tacky glitter glue primer, that's not going to want to adhere to anything. That's not not gonna adhere if you try just popping it on top of your powdery shadow. Look, it will not work. But all the other shades I thought worked really well, and I'm a fan of like these goldeny tones in with the plum, LSU vibes. I can get into that. So given the fact that I think it is good quality and all in all a color scheme that I like, I, I do enjoy this. It's just not getting my like strongest thumbs up of the collection. These things are the favorites right here. And then these, I really adore the packaging, but I think, you know, one could definitely suffice unless you're just really enamored by, you know, Girl Scout cookies. And wanting to get stuff in this specific collection, they're clear glosses. When it all comes down to it, it's a clear gloss. I wouldn't say the scents on any of them are outrageously strong, but you can you can pick out what they're supposed to be. But again, clear glosses. I think it would have been cool if they gave them some kind of tint. Just know if you get these, you're getting more into like a lip oil, lip treatment type of vibe. And then honorary little add-on to this collection, the Naked Brown Blush from Wet n Wild would pair, I think, really well with any of those eye palettes and the lip colors too. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear if you've tried any of the other palettes, uh, got your hands on any other parts of the collection. Again, there was a primer that I could not try. There was one other lip color, which I may still look for because I really like that formula. And there were just some other little cute things like powder puffs, makeup headbands, stuff like that. Thank you guys for your time today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all again very soon. I love you. Bye.